Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Welcome again to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host. Joining me today, a very festivity, a very historical day, is Bob Williams. Again, we're both vets, and we're going to just spend our time talking about history. History of a, of a day that we need to recognize that was recently put at the front of the line, making this day a federal holiday. I'm talking about Juneteenth. And it all talks about history right after the Civil War, if you will, during the Lincoln administration. Lincoln basically, basically, that was where blacks who had participated in the Civil War were given the opportunity to become American citizens on that date in the 1800, okay? And they fought, I mean, they fought well, big time. And when you, when you, so the moment you make that point, you think about they were then those who joined were then identified as buffalo soldiers, and there was there were certain movies that basically identified that right. depict that the movie Glory with with with, uh, with Denzel Washington mm -hmm. and folks of that particular nature. But the fact of the matter is that history began, and 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 it's, it was interesting about that whole piece is that um, uh, Lincoln, who had basically put that piece to the table, and was talking about unification, among all the states for that matter. And all of a sudden, uh, but, but 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 from the historical facts on African Americans who who then became citizens as a result of joining the joining the the, the Union Army against the Confederacy, uh, all of a sudden uh, he was shot. That's it. He was shot. But before he got he was shot, he made one more piece, and that was that uh, he told the entire country that uh, uh, is, is the USA is not the Confederacy flag anymore. Right. Got me? And then at that point in time, uh, he was still living, if you will, and the people in the South were a little reluctant to basically doing anything and basically acknowledging that fact, meaning that uh, blacks or African Americans were still, Af well, they were, they were African Americans then, right. <laughs> but they were still being identified and u utilized as slaves. Right. And so he sent, the, sent, sent one of the Union majors, uh, Army majors, to Galveston, he basically told the Southerners, he was basically making a statement to Southerners across the board, that uh, that these were truly American citizens. And they're uh, free. And they were free. Okay, good. Well, look, I've started it just as a little excerpt aspect of it, but now I'm, I'm going to bring Bob in. Bob is here, and we're going to spend our time talking about that. And hopefully you will you will tell your neighbors and whatever uh, to maybe look at the look at the show. The show is being aired this Sunday. And uh, and hopefully you will you will you will talk about uh, uh, what you feel about it and and your definition of, of this. Uh, it's a very historic day, a very important day, because uh, when when Lincoln got shot, nothing was mentioned about that date anymore. It, uh, from my perspective, it just went back to the first right uh, beginning. But in all due respect, the the first time it became, I mean, again recertified, was during the Biden administration. Who made this a federal holiday? This is a federal holiday, folks. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong, and, and, I'll, and I'll say this just straight up: sure, it was, it was a festive day throughout the years, if you will, a fun and dance and this, that, and other. But it's not the fun and dancing and the barbecue and then the pop. Right. It's the seriousness of what this date was all about and the history about what this was all about. And then, uh, and I'm saying this point blank uh, to 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 African Americans. They should be taking the they should be taking the lead now. We've got to take the lead, Bob. Uh, you know, it's one it's one thing it's one thing not to know your history. Mm -hmm. It's another thing to have your history presented to you and you don't listen mm -hmm. and take heed to what's being said or done because of your history. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I saw a piece uh, earlier today and. I did what most of us do. I copied it and pasted it, mm -hmm. you know, because I think it's very, in doing this time is very important for us as black people to know something about our history mm -hmm. so that we will stop doing the things that we're doing in today's history. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and if you, if you allow me, I'll take, I want to take about a minute, minute well, and a half well, do it. and read this. Read it, read it. Because okay, read it. It's to, uh, what is, it starts out, so you mean to tell me that someone down your ancestral line survived being chained to another human body for several months in the bottom of a diseased infested ship during the Middle Passage, lost their language, custom, and tradition, picked up the English language as best they could while working free of charge from sun up to sundown as they watched babies soul from out of their arms and, mo and women raped by ruthless slave owners. Mm -hmm took names with no last name, no birth certificates, no heritage of any kind, Bra uh, braved the Underground Railroad, mm -hmm. survived the Civil War to enter mm -hmm. into sharecropping, learned to read and write out of sheer will and determination, mm -hmm. uh, faced the burning cross of the KKK, inherited their, inverted their eyes at the bat, at the black bodies swinging from ropes hung on trees, fought in World War One in World Wars as soldiers to return to America as boys, marched in Birmingham, Holst in Selma, jailed in Wil in uh, Wil 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 My uh, Wilmington, ass ass assassinated in Memphis, segregated in the South, ghettoed in the North. In, endured in history books, I'm sorry, ignored in history books, mm -hmm. um, stereotyped in Hollywood, and in spite of all, someone in your family line endured every error hmm. to make sure you would be here to receive one rejection. Wow. Face one obstacle, lose one friend, get overlooked and you want to quit mm -hmm. you know uh how dare you entertain the very thought of quitting and that's what our people have done mm -hmm. you know we have begin to quit mm -hmm. uh we're afraid to say we're black mm -hmm. we're afraid to say black uh, america say, uh, uh, just, just, we, yes, I'm a black American. Right, 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 right. I'm proud to be a black American. Right, right, right. I wasn't born in, right, in uh, I wasn't born in Africa. Mm -hmm. My my forefathers were, mm -hmm. and mother uh, was born in Africa, or maybe, it, or the passageway. Mm -hmm. But I know who I am. Mm -hmm. And for us not to come together, and to live the life of uh, Clarence Thomas, who said, I pulled myself up by my own bootstraps, mm -hmm. when we all know we're walking on the back of those that went on before us. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, to talk about the things that has happened in this country to us, but do nothing about it except for let others depend on others to free us. Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing today. We're depending on others to free us. I.e., as some of my friends say here in Portland, Oregon, a black man won't do nothing unless a white man gives the okay. You know, and I'm like, wow, isn't that a horrible thing to think? That we as citizens of the United States, uh, citizens of Oregon, can't do anything unless it's okayed by someone else. It's time for us to make a change and stop depending on someone else to change things for us. Mm -hmm. We have to come together. Mm -hmm. We have to talk to our young so-called gangbangers who wants to talk about their their hood or their this, they can't come over here because this is this is ours as they rent from the white guy. You know, it's time for us to begin to talk to people and not be afraid of our youth and educate them to the fact that, hey, we are black and we need to stick together. We must stick together or we will all die one by one because this is not what this country is all about. And it's, and it's being shown more and more each and every day.
I don't want to preach, you know. No, I, no, I was raised by a no. Baptist minister, <laughs> but I don't want to <laughs> preach. <laughs> no, but Bob, you, you, you're right. And in fact, again, that's what we're doing here now, trying to trying to basically get to get people out there, the viewing audience, excited. Uh, everybody across the board. Right. But you're right. Uh, you, we can't allow someone else to carry the water. We got to carry this we gotta, water. That's we right. Got to carry this water. And I think the first, the first, uh, when, when, what comes to mind is that. During those times of slavery aspect of it, we were not allowed to to read and write. Right. We were not allowed to read and write. That's and if, the education system. And okay. to, sh to make that a point, okay. if someone that wasn't black tried to teach us to read to write, read and write, they would kill them. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. One of their own. Hey, right. no, you can't mess with this That's system. Right. That's, right. That's right. But like I said, but but moving forward, imagine when when Lincoln was shot, if you will. All of the things that he had on the table, well, talking to the the, 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 the inclusiveness, if right. you will, of, of individuals who were slaves, that, that they would be Americans. It would not it would not be a certain percentage, if you will, within the within the, the Declaration of Independence and mm -hmm. things of that nature. It was it was something real, if you will. He was changing that. That's right. And and the bottom line is that and the way he was able to uh, basically get it to get the message out to everyone was through the education system. Right. And we never had an education system. And here, here we are today, a very sophisticated, uh, a very sophisticated hmm. time in our lives. Uh, I feel very comfortable about being an, uh, an American right. who happens to be black. Right. Like like a, a Jewish person who happens to be Jewish who is American. Right. An Irish person, an Italian person, or a German, uh, or German, whoever, all of them. <laughs> uh, you know, and, and those and those Germans who fought and uh, fought during those days with Hitler and whatever, right. who came here and became American citizens overnight. Only because of the color of their skin, right? And 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 and, I, and I'm I'm just being straight up about this piece. But the bottom line is that the the education system communicated to the masses as a whole that these are the Americans over here, and then they basically uh, basically uh, set us aside by basically identifying us as blacks, right? African Americans, okay? Negro, Negro, colored, <laughs> all all these different nom nomenclatures. And and uh, uh, so so the bottom line is that we, we look at our present just coming fast forward forward. Yes, I used to say, this, like for instance this Juneteenth piece. Mm -hmm. I wonder how many activities were actually happening in the classrooms today. Today, then during this particular time, uh, talking to what was Juneteenth right. to the classmates. Because if you start with the young. It can't. It will grow. Right, right, right. right. Uh, they'll remember. Right. They might not act on it immediately, right, 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 but right, over right, time they right, will begin. Right. Some, not all, right, but some right, will. Right, right, right. And if you don't teach your history, mm -hmm. it'll die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's what's happening with us. Is that we'll go to the, the we older guys will go to the barber shop. Not not me because I don't need the barber. But we'll go to the barber shop <laughs> we'll and we'll talk about it in the barber shop. But right. when we get outside the barber shop, yeah. we'll shut up. Right. Right, right, right. You know, because we feel comfortable among our own. Mm -hmm. Well, the, uh, I might add that uh, during the time that I was in the uh, our, the organization, mm -hmm. the Buffalo Soldiers, everybody mm -hmm. remembers the Buffalo Soldiers, and we were given the opportunity to go to the classroom in our uniforms in the early days. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was beautiful. But then I asked myself, where are we today on it? Right. You know, it's not it's not just waiting for the Buffalo Soldier just for that for that one day, if you will. You got my point of recognition. No, it should be within the ed education system because what comes to mind with that is that here's a governor in in Florida hmm. saying, "Hey, we're not interested in that history." Right. Being just very bold about it, and you start looking at the, the and history. I'm going to be I want to be your president. That's right. Whose president That's does right. he want to be? That's right. That's right. Well. <laughs> I mean, he he's got a problem. Man. <laughs> it, it just sort of reminds me that he was probably one of the ones back during those days, mm -hmm. uh, during the Civil War aspect of it. You got my point? And he happened to have a, a Spanish surname. Right. Okay. And then the thing that comes up with me when you start talking about a Spanish surname, the first thing I think about is the whole issue of the Alamo. Alamo. Remember the Alamo? Oh yeah. Remember when Sam Houston said, hey, "Okay, fine, you guys can fight, but make sure you put put your put your cover on mm -hmm. because otherwise you will get shot." That's right. And 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 it was Santa Ana that was basically the one that sold Texas. Remember that that deal? That whole nine yards. So there's a history there. But see, you you know a little bit about that history, mm -hmm. but in all due respect, that history also should be shared right across the board. 
because because they have problems with their history because today uh, you know the, the Hispanic community uh, they're sort of divided but they, they they maintain the status of Republicans and Democrats you well, got you got an equal number who are Republicans and Democrats so mm -hmm. in essence they're not right. but here's the thing that that bothers me when we start saying Hispanic mm -hmm. is that. From my understanding, that's a Reagan term. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because he, uh, they couldn't, uh, they couldn't tell where somebody from Puerto Rico mm -hmm. and somebody from Mexico mm -hmm. or somebody from Cuba. Mm -hmm. They all speak Spanish, yeah. although maybe different dialects. Right. 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 But he wasn't smart enough to understand the difference. Yes. And therefore, he the name Hispanic came about, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so it bothers me, mm -hmm. you know, because I know some, I have some friends that speaks that are Spanish persuasion and they don't like it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so just like I don't like anyone that would uh, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't like the person but I don't like to be called as uh, in the name of uh, of being uh, censored the n-word mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> you know uh, I don't like my children don't use that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's because I taught them at a young age mm -hmm. that no matter how you say it, mm -hmm. no matter how you repeat it off a record or whatever, mm -hmm. it didn't make a person mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. or look mm -hmm. smart mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. cared about. Mm -hmm. So they don't use it. Mm -hmm. But it's the same. It's the same with that word Hispanic. Yep. You know, I don't use it. I don't use it because I know where I have. Uh, from what I've been told, you know, it's I haven't researched. You I know, know its origin. Yep. And I know that it wasn't with with uh, anything other than identification mm -hmm. of someone that speaks mm -hmm. Spanish, mm -hmm. and so uh, I'd rather say he's Cuban, or he's Mexican, or he's Guatemalan. Mm -hmm. or he, I had friends like from, like Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had friend uh, when I was in the service. I was stationed in New York, mm -hmm. so I had a lot of Puerto Rican friends. Oh yeah, big time. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. I knew, I knew and about so those guys, yes. it's it's just one it's just one of those things where we the people have got to stop letting Clarence Thomas's idea of I learned on my own mm -hmm. to be true because he did not. Mm -hmm. Someone helped that boy off that farm. Mm -hmm. You know, his parents, his teacher, he got help. And all, and you saw it when he got it got placed on the Supreme Court, because it was no it was white people standing beside him, mm -hmm. you know. For there had to be a reason, you know. <laughs> and so I'm just saying, know your history. Mm -hmm. Don't let someone else tell it to you. If I you think I'm saying something wrong, let me know. Mm -hmm. There's all kind of ways to get in touch with well, me. Well, that, that, that's that's why we have an education system. That's right. And to be, to be to give the definition. It, it places in that, and then people get they get the, they get knowledge of it. So as time goes, at the end of the day, when they graduate from high school, it's ah. what, they're supposed to be all Americans, right? And that's the thing, you know. When I was in South Africa for the Mandela, the first the Mandela election, he looked out over the audience when something happened in that audience, and he said, "We," he said, "We are not." white South Africans or black South Africans or any other t uh, uh, South African, we are South Africans. Mm -hmm. And you should have heard the roar. I haven't heard one politician in America say that. Mm -hmm. We, you know, everyone is trying to get their nickel or dime well, Lincoln by said dividing. It. Lincoln said it. Well, I didn't hear him, but I read it. No, he, he, you he did. Said, yeah, he said. Yeah, you know, he, we he are Americans. Yes, okay. And and so, we are all Americans. And believe me, this apple is large enough to go around for everyone. Yeah. This is a big tent. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone can get covered in it. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you want? Is the thing, because we are a capitalist society. Therefore, somehow or another, money comes first. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you're a socialist society, it's trying to keep everybody equal, and of course, there's going to be those that's keeping everybody equal. Let's go have more. Right, right. You know, so let's understand what we're doing. When they, when you hear things like, we don't want socialism and we don't this and we don't. Yeah. Well, I look at it and I go, hey, socialism is 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 designed to keep certain things in check, mm -hmm. and so 
when you start when the government start paying farmers not to plant, that's socialism. Mm -hmm. When when people are when when businesses are dependent on government, that's socialism. Mm -hmm. So this is where what happens is though when you the citizen starts to de depend on the government, then that's welfare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and it's all in the name, but it's the same old thing. Mm -hmm. And we the people have to stop looking at each other and downing each other. And instead of trying to lift each other. Well, you know, you, you make a good point there because the, the, the origin of this country was in all due respect uh, led by in many ways and basically uh, was by poor people. Right. It was poor, it was poor people. That's right. That was and, and as a result of that, uh, the, uh, their, their liberty, if you will, their liberty was basically saying being a human being and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And doing that, but then they came here basically to work the land. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But after a while, they said, look, we're we, we going we gonna to quit giving the best of the crop. We're going to keep some of the crop. Right. And we're going to get organized and we're going to respect one another. That's the way. It, and that, that was the American Revolution. Right. Not the Civil War. It was the American Revolution, and everybody fought in that revolution. Right. Even well, then, even then, African and slaves, everybody fought in that revolution. If you're here, you fight. You, you fight. And then the idea that, and the whole definition in terms of, at the end of that piece, everybody was going to be whole. Mm -hmm. But it, it was the origin of that little 10% that was sitting there. That little 10%. And it was, it was the wealth. Right. It was a wealth that basically kind of said, "Okay, fine. You you're not a man unless you have property. You're not a man if you don't you don't have." If you're debt. not, if you're not, it, well, you have to be a man. Yep. You have to, uh, in order to vote to own property, yep, yep. you have to be a man. Yep, yep. That took out white women. It, it took all. It took everybody. <laughs> you know, uh, as well, I should say. But that was the origin you know, of, the, of the mother country. Right. And see, and That's if you don't know the history of this you country, you got to know the history. You got to. You got to know the history because, because you know, and it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's really a, it's a, really a must, because here we stand today, hmm. and we look at all the other countries that we've developed. All the years, okay, mm -hmm. and here we talk about we've got we've got about three hundred million people here in this country, and we got one we got several countries that got billions of people. Right, China's one. Right, three billion three billion people, not three hundred million, three billion people. You got India in the billions. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You you got all of these folks or whatever, and you know, and so we, we're at that point now. We can't have a conventional war. Now unless, we, now unless we make some of them our friends. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 but, but my point is that yeah. but they've all come here and learned this piece, okay? And then, like, no, no, we, no, you're not no friend anymore. I got what I want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, that, and that's, I, and I that's the thing that, that we, that's yeah. true. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fact, you that's know, a fact. Here we are talking about uh, China and what they're doing. Yes, well, we created the, the, I won't go to China. I love something current, current that er, most people are listening to. And that's the golf. Yeah, 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 right, right. And when you talk about, it was uh, one organization live, live, oh, yes, L-I-V, yes. and then PGA. Well, you're jumping on another arena now. Okay. But that's okay. But, it's okay. But, but I'm going to show, you, show how you how it all yeah, folds over majority, into, right. and so here's the PGA paying their players uh, hundreds of thousands and then millions. Right. Okay. Live come along and say, hey. You can make you can make a million dollars in a golf tournament over there, but we're gonna pay you two hundred million to join us, <laughs> and you can make uh, two million. Now all of a sudden, you got a you have a yacht, and it's thirty feet long. That's a millionaire PGA, and along come live with its yachts that ninety feet long, and not only that. It's got a billion dollars to your million. Now you understand how America works. Because when you look at it, the PGA started talking about who was backing live. And that was the Saudis with all their oil money. And so they want to uh, list Saudi as those murderers who killed uh, yeah. uh, what's the, and the American, the American, American, uh, re, uh, American uh, right, reporter, right, right. And, and all of that, and why the PGA should not be dealing with them.
And if someone leaves the PGA and go there, they are banned from the PGA. What happens? Nobody talked about the fact that all the companies in America and the banks in America that do business with who? <laughs> the Saudis. Yep. They created them. Yeah. Don't talk about that. They don't talk about the oil we receive from who? The Saudis. And the government do business with who? The Saudis. So all of a sudden, this little golf thing is uh, listed as bad and evil for now all of a sudden joining with lie. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you sold out. And mm -hmm. eh, this country sold out years ago, if that's what you're using. Well, well, well I, I, I put it another way. It didn't sell out. No, they just they created, joined. No, they created it. <laughs> <laughs> see, I mean, if you looked at the real board of directors of yeah. that lie, mm -hmm. you'll see people from here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I, and, I, and I, again, again, getting the facts, and then so getting back to this particular piece, that's exactly the same process that's going on now with reference to Black Americans. That's right, and that's where I was Point going right. with yeah, it. Yeah, it you. was all so everything. It's all about what can I get. Yeah. And what can I keep? Well, you know, well, the, edu are, the well, education system is a, is a perfect right, example. Right, right. Why in the world am I going to, if you live in the inner city and your your kids are going to this rundown school, uh, we'll do minimum things to keep it up so that they can come. And out in the suburbs, we're getting all new schools. Yeah. Yeah. So what did the city have to do? Yeah. They had to make a change. Yeah. And so all of a sudden, uh, you get you start busing, getting huh? new schools, yep, yep. but there's still, you know, there's still yeah. that separation. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, and that's the thing that we have to fight against. Well, but the the whole country need to get back to the table and right. talk about what we have done to date, and we're we're struggling right now. Mm -hmm. We are struggling across the board, even right. even the folks with the money. We're struggling trying to figure. Out, they're trying to figure out how am I going to be able to spend my dollar? I can't go anywhere anymore. Right. Perfect example was South Africa. <laughs> I like to go talk about places I've been and yes, seen. Right, right. And when I was in South Africa, people with money had nice homes and a whole bit. You know what they you know what they had? They had bars on their windows. They had barbed wire around the property and guards. And they had five locks on the door. Yeah. And some of them that could afford it had guards at the gate. You know, why in the world would I want it all? And can't use it. Yeah. If I could share just some of it, I'm free. Mm -hmm. But now I can't even walk outside without yeah. someone protecting me, or I'm afraid. Well, see, the, the, to me, I mean, that was the power base of this country. Yeah, that's how it started. The whole idea was, you know, we want something different, mm -hmm. and they, they got together. They got together, but then, all due respect, uh, some of those folks who got together. Got back in the same lot. Right. They the they brought they brought the money. Well, they say you train a child in the way it should go, and it won't depart from it. That's yeah, what they yeah, were. Yeah. They you got to remember who who, who came here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were the downtrodden. That's right. That's right. So what's the, what's the thing that you're going to do when you think you're on top? Yeah. You're going to keep somebody. You got to have somebody <laughs> to make you feel like you somebody to do the work. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> well, look, you know. But again, folks, you know, the, the viewing audience, you know, if you notice, we're going through this discussion. We are, we're not necessarily a limited aspect of it, because to a certain degree, we've got some of that education. Right. And we're doing this show because of that. We don't know everything. Right. But we do know uh, based on our, our association and affiliation, because we're all products of our relationships. Right. You know, Bob here, for instance, he's been in basketball and sports for quite some time, and that gave him the opportunity to communicate across the board. That's right. In any way. I, besides him being a military guy, I was in the military. Had I not gotten in the Marine Corps and I volunteered, I'd been all over the world mm -hmm. meeting folks, right? talking to folks. And when I sit here in this chair talking about issues and the whole format is to educate and inform i'm getting an education one talking with bob we're sharing our facts right and we're sharing things and then we're giving up with hey wait a minute i, I didn't re i don't remember this but now i remember because of bob mm -hmm. and then i'll do a little bit more research mm -hmm. and boom and so now i'm communicating don't look at me personally 
look at the facts that are coming out right. and you can nowadays you can you can you can look at the whole world's problem right here yeah, all you need to know is know how to get it ask, no ask the question Do press it, two buttons right. and ask the question just ask the question and you That's get right. all the information there just like he, when we started with the show start off with the show he shared with you and all and all the and all encompassing in fact if you will of uh, really the definition of, of, of black Americans, right. okay, you got me? And what we're trying to do, we're to basically talking to one, as far as I'm concerned, we're talking to the fact that we're part of the whole. That's it. You know, and want folks to understand, we're all part of the whole. They're, 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 we're all Americans, you know, and there's no separate, they're, sure, different cultures, we, we come from different parts of the world, aspect mm -hmm. of it, and this, that, and the other, but let me tell you something, but, but 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 things are changing, oh. and, and, and I and I'm saying, and then, then I'm saying, if we don't get back to the books, education. Because that, because believe me, education is the key. Because that young person that's, that's going through school today, I'm, uh, uh, <laughs> there's a concern. People are talking about it now at loud mm -hmm. from the standpoint. Gee whiz, I, you know, I don't I don't know what the world's going to look like after a while. Am I going to be able to live my life the the sort of older you are, the safer you may be because you you got a shorter time. Right. But the ones that are kind of like middle age and this that and the other, they're trying. Bob, it's a fact. A gentleman called me today, and uh, he's from Denver, Colorado, mm -hmm. and they were celebrating. You, you remember celebrating the the the, 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 the championship the championship yeah. of the basketball deal, and some folks got killed. Yeah, eleven of them. Yeah, they got killed. And he was, and there he was, you know, they, he was part of the celebration and this, that, and the other, and he was concerned. He was just saying, gee, Bruce, I don't know what's going on here. I'm scared. You know what I told him? I said, well, look, one, first off, I recognize you're a military guy. Go get your cover. Wear your cover. Because they were calling him names. Yeah. They had been calling him names in, in Colorado. He bought he bought him a nice home, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But, but when he went to the store and this, that, and the other, guess what? They'd look they at call, your phone. And they were calling him in. Right. And you know he's trying to figure out what am I going to do? I, wh what can I do? And and uh, and I'm saying you know he is he's looking for some direction. And I told him point blank, you put your cover on because I tell you what, the only American that I know right now that has a cover. We we, we had that melting pot right. when we all had the uh, most of us basically volunteered again, but at the same time we got in the military. And you know that's that's the thing that most people don't don't understand. I don't. I didn't understand it. I'll just go there. Yeah. Uh, how important it is oh, wow. to know your surroundings. Yeah. To know your to know what how people feel about certain things. Right. And I walked out of here one day, and we have our cover on. And I walked out of here. I didn't even think about. It. I had still had it on. I walked into Fred Meyer's, and I was as I was walking down the aisle shopping. It was amazing how many people, black, white, and others that heard them say it, say it. Uh, Thanks for thank serving. Thank you for your service. Yep. And I said, "Oh, you're welcome." Because at one point I didn't know what to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm like, "Huh?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I, you know, now I know. Said, so "Thank you." But that education about what that service person was about mm -hmm. is always in that books. You, you get it the first day in school. Yeah, you got me. All you have to do when I they raise that flag, when they raise that flag in the morning at a grade school, you I mean you part of the, the deal. Yeah. You raise the flag, and then you get the military, the whole nine yards. It's a melting pot. Yeah, and that's that's what the beauty of this country. In many well, ways. see, somehow or another, we have become s separated, even in school, mm -hmm. and that is. We used to, when I was in school, and I know I know probably when you were in school, the first thing we did was we got, all got in class, mm -hmm. and we would play, said the Pledge of Allegiance. Say the prayer. Said say the prayer. That's right. You know, uh, went to the playground. We all played together. Uh, we had the bully. Mm -hmm. You yep. know, and everybody stayed away from the bully. Yep, yep. You know, all those things. Yep, yep. But today, the kids walk in school, and what do they do? Carry, whatever, carry a gun. Yeah, whatever they want to. I, I tell, I've told this story about me being a student teacher. I was going to become a teacher. I was doing my, my student observing at, at one of the sky schools here. I was uh, in a history class, and it was 15 people in this class. And this is no lie, Bruce. This teacher would take eight of those kids off to one side and teach them, and the other seven the other seven went to the back of the room. They just did what they wanted to do. 
And so I was like, what kind of teaching is this? Do I want to get in this? And so I asked him why, and he said, well, they always disturbed the class. Well, he was sick for a week. Well, you know you know why? He was given pills, the relaxation pills. You well, know? <laughs> I don't know what happened to him, but he was sick for a week. And the principal asked me, do I think I can handle the class? Yes, and I said, of course. Yes. Well, when they walked in the class that day, that uh, they got rid of it. I said, hold it. Where is everyone, where everyone going? I said, everybody sits here. Mm -hmm. I said, your parents didn't send you here to jaw jack with your friend in the back. I said, this is a history class, and you're going to get some history today. And I had brought a, I'd bought two newspapers. I opened them up and I gave them each a section. I said, you might, I said, I don't care if you can read well or you can't. Look at the pictures. I said, <laughs> but you're going to read this. Mm -hmm. You're going to take five minutes and read the section. That's your, your section. And that has the X on it. And then you're going to tell me what that section said. Mm -hmm. And rest assured, I had that class for, had fun. I yeah. had that class for that week, the last day. Every, well, the, the middle of every day they came in, they knew where to sit. You know, they looked, see, I was there, and they sat there. And so the next week he came back. And what do you think happened? They all separated. Yeah. You know, so we have to understand that leadership is important. Well, what, what, your point, <laughs> before you leave that point, you think about, well, what about his education? Yeah. And who, what about the people who put the curriculum together? Well, what about their education? You my, understand what I'm saying? Yeah. What did they get? And, and my point is that, and, and, I, and I'm not again. That's why I said we got to go back to square one at the table about our education system. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got me. What is education? Right. Define it for me. You got my point. That's it. And it doesn't talk to inclusion, just like you said. It's not an inclusionary situation. Yeah, because he was of a different persuasion that's than the kids. Right, that's right, that's right. And so he wanted peace that's and right. harmony. That's right, that's right. And no, and didn't want to uh, confront. And his administrator was in the same realm mm. because he was given orders by that entity. And then his administration, except, I mean, when you start, Everybody started accepting. That, that's right, that's right. Well, and when you start accepting, you right. get what you get. That's right. And then you, you think about the, the Civil War, Mm -hmm. And one of the resolution piece aspect of it was that when they cut out the pie from the education aspect of it, uh, they made the, the South the, uh, the the checkoff for all reading material, mm -hmm. even to this day. Hmm. Even to this day, that's how the state of Texas. <laughs> they have to sign off on the books that goes into the classroom. Now, I understand that, that so there's still that 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 that, that war that, that between oh, yeah. between the, the the grays and the and the blues, right? <laughs> you know, I was at a function in Seattle this last weekend. Mm -hmm. My granddaughter graduated from college, mm -hmm. which was a great thing. I found out her brother is a, is a junior, is a junior, is sophomore. I'm sorry, in college right now. He's at the house waiting on me to get back. Yes, uh, but. The next day after the graduation, her mother has her own business where they put on functions for different organizations. Yeah. And she put on a function for the Lavender organization, which is a gay organization. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they had comedians come in from Chicago, from Portland, from uh, Atlanta, and from Washington. Mm -hmm. They came in and they did comedic, com uh, comedic bits. They told me I was invited. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, you know, hey. all of a sudden I realized that stigma I have. Yeah. About you know, yeah. And I said, well, uh, you know, and they said, hey, don't nobody want you. <laughs> and so that, uh, my and they, wife they, they, and they, my they, daughter, they cleared it up. and that cleared that up. And I said to my son in law, you going? He said, if you go, I'm going. I said, we going. And we went and had the best time. And I'm telling you, now one, now one person was out of line. Now one person said anything to us because we were straight, mm -hmm. as they call us. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and I enjoyed it a hundred percent, you know, immensely. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, you know what? If I'd have stayed in that square box I mean I was in, yeah, 
Yeah. Look at what I was missed. Yeah. And that's what's going on in society today. They put black people in a the box. They put gay people in a the box. They put uh, Mexicans. Uh, Mexicans in a box. Asians. In a box. You know, everybody's in a box. This is America. This is a mixing pool. <laughs> Somebody needs to get a spatula out and just start mixing everything up. And that's why, in all due respect, that's why we're getting so much major divide here now. Because all those individuals are in these different boxes. They're coming up with their own cultural flags right. now. See, it's not the American flag, and we should be raising that American flag right. and edu that American flag is inclusive of everybody. That's it. And some entities within the American flag will say they will deny that to the other entities by keeping them in those respective cultures. And making this <laughs> one go against that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you want to keep people down? Yeah. It's real simple. Yeah. Let them start fighting each other. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an ex-union rep, and I've <laughs> seen what happened in the contract negotiations. No, you're still a union rep. Well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I've seen what goes on yeah. in, in yeah. The negotiations right. when one group don't want it and the other group do yeah. you know what the union does mm. step back and let, let them the, the, go the, at go it go through at it you know and when they finish and when they get tired of them going at it they break them up and they say look you've heard what each side has said you have to decide what's best for you for the job yes <laughs> because it's too personality in it. thing yeah and that's not going to make and it. so we get a contract. Yeah, yeah. It's agreed on by all those people yeah. with different ideas that come together. On the issue. That's what we have to do as yeah, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we need some union reps to start be, uh, saying, I'm going to. I'm well, we, we, we have a process. All we have to do is just make sure we put that formula together. Yeah. See, we got an election process, but the bottom line is that the way we elect people is not about the issues. No. How much money you got? Who, yeah, that's right, uh, how that's does right. it look? Uh, because, because the entity. <laughs> that has the money to buy that power mm -hmm. aspect of it, looks out for himself. Right. See? Well, on the other hand, uh, we got the masses out here. The, the, a lot of times, the, 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 way, the way our culture works on that particular end is as if to say, that entity, hey, he, he, he got his money, so I'm going I'm to put my, put my money up, but there's nobody there to say, wait a minute, look, y you want more results and more dollars, mm -hmm. but trust me, the way you're doing it, it's going to cost you money, more money. Whereas on the other hand, if you just focus on the issue specifically, it, you'll be able to make the if not more, if you right. will, and be able to sleep nights. You know, I was talking to my tax guy because uh, I got my taxes. I had made a mistake on my taxes and paid for next year instead of what I owed for this year. Yeah. Man, I was worried. Oh. <laughs> um, and But the year before, I didn't have to pay anything. I got money back. Yeah, right. And I had the same thing. What happened? Well, he told me. He said, "Well, your previous president, uh, they passed they passed uh, certain <laughs> laws, and one of the laws was on taxes, where for three years you got this reduction in taxes. But after that three years, that went away, which means you now have to pay if you don't do some other things to to stop that. At the end of the year, you pay." I said, "Oh." He said, "But your rich friends, they got it for life." <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you're you know dumb on my part because I didn't pay full attention so if you don't pay full attention you'll get used that's why that education system is so important it's so important and it's, and, 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 and like I said and, then, and our elected yeah. our elections piece that's right they need to focus on the issue mm -hmm. and, the, and if the person doesn't have a resume that can talk to the issue about the solution then guess what? You shouldn't. You shouldn't be yeah. voting for the person. And and my my that's my thing. We have to get off get off our high horse or our oh I'm too tired or I'm not going and make it to the meeting. Right. Right. When there right. when there's a, a a meeting on this candidate, right. go. Yeah. You don't have to say a word, yeah, but at least get educated get on educated, it. Get educated, get educated. And, and then you might, the next time you go, you'll have a question. Or better yet, uh, or better yet, you can raise your hand while you're there mm -hmm. and say, wait a minute. That's <laughs> it. You know, I thought, what about my issue? <laughs> Let's throw that on the table. What, what does that mean? Right. And then they, that, that's what that job is, supposed to answer the question. Hey, I live, I live in Clackamas <laughs> County, right on the border of Multnomah, <laughs> you know, uh, and 
I I was shocked when we were having a sheriff's election, and I something made me go, and I went down to hear these these four candidates. And one of them said, "Well, I was on the board of directors at the time. He said they're trying to build light rail out here to Milwaukee, and uh, that'll bring people from Northeast Portland out here. Oh. And they'll and next thing you know, your TV will be missing, and this will be missing." And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and so I look around. I'm the only speckled face in right, the room. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I'm the dot on all these right, eyes. Right, right. And I raised my hand. And one of the guys knew that I was, uh, that was uh, he, knew your he knew where I, who I was. And so he said, yes, Mr. Williams, what, uh, you have something? I said, yes, I have some, a question for uh, a candidate. You, you mentioned uh light rail coming to Milwaukee and someone from Northeast person to be out here stealing your TV. When was the last time you heard of someone coming out and robbing someone on a bus and their transportation away from the issue uh, was a bus or a train? I said, aren't they locked in? Don't someone might have, uh, you get on the on a train with a TV. Yeah. Um, somebody's gonna notice you and video too. And we have video on the train, <laughs> so you're gonna be you're gonna know who you are. I said so. Placing fear in people like that is not worth it. I said really and truly, you're not the one that I want representing me. You said and I live in the county. You said did he get elected? No, he was third in the three horse race. <laughs> you know, and so those are the things that we the people have to do. We don't have we can't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, we, by the way, and to the viewing audience here, you know, you, you think we, we started out talking about Juneteenth, but right. in all due respect, it's, we, that's what we're talking that's a, about. That's what Juneteenth that, that, is. That's exactly what Juneteenth is all about. And, and being straight up, in all due respect, to, to black Americans, you know, uh, the goal is to be Americans, okay? That's it. And we're going to have to carry that water to the other masses, if you will, about what that means. And that history is very important. So the, so the suggestion is that Read your history. Like Bob said, all you do is just ask the question with this entity right here. Just go back in time. Go back in time doing that. What is the what was the definition of the revolution for this country? Yeah. Study it. Let, look at why it happened and what was the results. And then it was the revolution. Then it went to the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And then it was about money because the South had cotton. Cotton right. was king. Okay, and they were Cotton getting pig and, free. And, and that's right. <laughs> and so the bottom line is that, but you can study that history. And then President Lincoln was there. He ran as a he ran. He was he was a Republican, but bottom line, he ran for office. That was part of his platform. Right. And in and, and, and during those days, you had to knock on the door and get your vote. It was a very interesting uh, concept and, in terms of how I once got elected. Right, and you have to realize that, you know, that word Republican and Democrat yeah. today. Yeah means something different totally, than it did totally back then. Totally different, totally different. You know, that's why they call them Dixocrats. Yep, yep, that's yep. why they, uh, what was the Democratic Party back then? It was mainly made up of Southerners. Yep, yep, yep. And, and the Republican Party was mainly made up of Northerners. Yep, 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 yep So, yep. and there's a lot of history there. There's a lot of history. There's a lot of history there. And, and so, so my point is, is a, like, like you said, the point is, and we, we, the, the program that we're talking about, right, we're talking about Juneteenth, there are many festivities and aspect of it, but I'm challenging the people who are going to be going to the rodeos, right, and and the barbecue parties, and the, and the, and the parades and this, that, and the other. Do you know your history? That's Do it. you know why you're going to this road? It's not about uh, the, the the highlights what? of the parade and and the, the the rodeo and the barbecues and the pop and this, that, and the other and having fun. It's a federal holiday. Know your history. Know the history. Why this with this day? Okay, very very important. And then then start discussing it like we're doing. Right. But we're using we we we're using our exposure, if you will, to talk about the day that we're talking about today because we are identifying with it. And in all due respect, <laughs> when we look at an education system, I don't see it. No, I don't see it, and I, and I, in fact, just as a good example, I'm looking at some of the like today's newspapers and things of that nature. I don't see the schedule of events. Mm -mm. I don't see an editorial on the editorial page talking about what is Juneteenth. Right. 
you know, uh, why was it? Why has it taken so long for this to get recertified by President Biden, if you will? Mm -hmm. I'm not interested in that. Now they, there's a there's a political deal going on right now, so I'm concerned. I'm just saying, well, what about the other side? So I'm going to be looking at the at the <laughs> at the deal to ask questions when I'm going out to talk. Somebody asked me, well, who am I going to vote for president? Well, I'm the first thing I'm going to be doing is say, well, okay, well, well, well where are you on this history? Mm -hmm. Where are you in this? Where do I fit? You got me. And I'm gonna be looking at this 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 Hispanic Hispanic governor from Florida, and I'm gonna be asking him a question. Yeah. He just happened to be a registered Republican, and I, and I have uh, I have some background in that, <laughs> and I think I can give him a call. Yeah. And if he comes to Oregon, I will be sitting right there up in the front seat, and I will be asking him a question. Now, and, and now let's we, talk about your history. And we know. When we show up at at, oh, yeah. at the meeting, oh yes, eyes begin to wander, yeah, oh, very and much people so. begin to yeah. be careful about what yeah, they say. Yeah, that's right. Well, no, it, no, we're going to. And it comes on both sides of the aisle. Because we've been to both we, sides. We, of the right. aisle. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we, Bob and I've been both. He's, he's had the D ring, I had the R, and we were right there at the table. Oh, as yeah. it, and it was good. So the key is that know what your history is. I mean, we spend it. We, we're spending an hour today. I mean, I could talk to you about well, wait, wait, where, where do you go get the barbecue party? I can talk to you about the rodeos and all this, that, and the other. But that's not the issue. The issue is, do you know the history about Juneteenth? So pull your dictionary out and start reading about that history. Then you can enjoy your meal, and yeah. then you can enjoy your rodeo and aspect of it, and then you can enjoy the parade. Yeah. Okay. And, and do something else. Challenge your children. That's right. Ask them. Hey, you have uh, what is Juneteenth? That's right. Uh, what what is what 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 do we mean when we say Black mm -hmm. History? Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. is that about? Uh, who who was? Yep. And when you, you know, go to school, when you go to school the next day, raise your hand up and ask the teacher. Ask the teacher. Why aren't we talking about Juneteenth? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, we talk. We talk. Uh, you know, you go to school and they talk about the the wars yes, and all yes, of that, yes. but they don't talk about slavery. No, no, they don't. You no, know, no. because that's a American black eye. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. so, if I don't say nothing, anything about it, yeah. then people won't 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 right, won't, right. won't bother that. And and trust yeah. me, people ain't going anywhere. No, we're gonna all be here. That's it. I'm not going anywhere. Someone to take this chair when I, if I if I was to leave. That's right. And so. Uh, they need to be educated and not come in with the idea that uh, we're just going to milk and cookie this. Right, exactly. Exactly. You know, we have we have to go. Sometimes we don't want the crumbs on the table. Right, we want a right. piece of the cake. That's right. That's right. And that's so right. a piece of the cake because means we, you have to have knowledge. Well, the thing is, Bob, Bob, you and I have seen the cake. Oh yeah. And we, and we figured that we stuck it <laughs> stuck our finger <laughs> in. It. Get your hand off that. Is that the icy? <laughs> <laughs> And through the years, oh. and through the years, it's as if to say we're not, we're in a position now. If we haven't gotten something, that's right. We aren't going to get it anymore. You yeah. point? We're going. We, 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 worked, we worked hard for what we are. Who we are. And we don't want to hold on to it. No, we no, want to share. No, no. We're, we sharing, want, we're sharing. This our, is what, we're sharing the things that we have run this into. This is what we're sharing. Yes. I mean, I've got. I mean, right up front with the, the military did a lot for me. Amen to that. Know, and I've gone to school. And in fact, the, the first day I went to, when I went to college, I had a scholarship and this, that, and the other. I didn't even know where I was going. Mm -hmm. I had no background. Yeah. My, my parents were poor. They, they didn't go to the teachers association meeting and this, that, and the other. Right. I was just on my own. I just had that energy because I was I picking that cotton back in Louisiana, mm -hmm. and you know, and, I, and I, I was doing my thing. But I had that energy. And my mother was from Mississippi. My, there you go. My uh, father <laughs> stayed in Mississippi, and my yeah. stepfather, who I grew up with, uh, was from Louisiana. There you go. There and he go. was a Marine. There you go. There and you go. They, they moved to Chicago. There you go. There you and go. from there, I began to get an idea of what, what how to do things right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's you right. know, gave you some structure. Structure. Yeah, and for for the masses, mm -hmm. because it, because when you think about it, and all due respect, when you think about it, uh, it's it's the whole issue with the whole issue with the the the, the, the weapon aspect. Right. Of it. It's the old gun control. He who has the gun control. Right. But the fact of the matter is, when we had that 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 uh, that revolutionary war, if we didn't have those mus muskets. 
-hmm. in those homes, we wouldn't be called America. Right. Because the muskets were on the other side. So when they came, they had, they, we had muskets too. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got me? And so today, uh, that's another issue that needs to be talked about because uh, it, it's not about, they need to know the essence, the history, and the facts about what uh, what is the weapon all about. Mm -hmm. And then I, I don't hear that being taught in school. You know and, my point? You know, that's, that's one of those things called gun control. Yeah. And my question is, why do you need an AK-47? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, AR-15 or any of those other weapons in order to go hunting. <laughs> but, but, but but you see, but if you talked about what that weapon is from a historical standpoint. It's about killing it's, people. It's the mindset of the deal. Yeah. So to, so to name it again, we mm -hmm. got to go back to the table mm -hmm. and have that discussion. Right. So then you say, okay, fine, well, I don't need this, 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 that, and the other. But the entities that pretty well are, are so... They basically say, look, I, I need more rounds than one. Mm -hmm. Because I'm looking at TV and all I see is numbers. Right. I mean, I got I got these black folks living next to me. And I got them over one here. One of them might knock on my door. That's right. That's right. Okay. And I have to stand my ground. So, so that's another discussion that we, we can we can get Man. in with no problem. Oh, yeah. And you're saying that. So, so, so always remember, when you're looking for leadership to sit in a seat, Stay away from the personality aspect of it. That's it. Deal with the issue. F find out the de definition of what that seat represents. Then when you get to the individual, look at their resume. Ask them, ask them to see their resume. And if the resume can relate to the issues, then fine. But if it doesn't, don't get caught. And that's, that's a, that gets caught. I mean, it's really a sad note that we've got many folks that are sitting in those chairs and have no inkling about what they're doing. They're, they're good at giving you... Well, this, uh, when I get there, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. The one thing that they don't say is how they are going to bring a group together. Right, right. Because Congress is a group yeah. it's a group thing. The largest group gets things done. And so if you, if you can't, if Bruce and I have great ideas, but we can't get people to agree with us or to give us some feedback on what we're thinking, uh, we got a problem. Well, we, we, also, go, we can't do anything for that's you. Right, that's right. That's and right. that's the thing that we have to be, uh, have to ask at that meeting yeah. is how do you see yourself getting that mm -hmm. done? Well, now, see, but now, but we do understand one thing. We call up, the, we, 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 we Google out, we Google out Corporation A, will you show me the board of directors, will mm -hmm. you please? That's, that, that's, <laughs> am, I, am I here? And you can write that person. All you do is just buy one stop. That's it. Right? Yeah. You buy one stock. I got many of one stock. I got one stock as myself. Mm -hmm. And I can write a letter and they, they respond. That's it. They respond. Well, look, I think we've enjoyed this. This has been a very enjoyable meeting. But do do enjoy this day. But please, check your facts out, okay? Check your facts out. I mean, Juneteenth is a very, is, is a very historical, factual day. And there's a lot of things that you can learn from that. And, and for those who are, who are not identified with it specifically, you are. Mm -hmm. you, you're part of it, too. We want to keep this country. It is, you know, it is. Well, you know, you, you 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 do that pledge allegiance to the flag. L look at it, read it, and then take your time and see what the word says. Right. And then include yourself in it. Okay. So with that, uh, I want to thank you very much for being with us and and uh, enjoy this 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 uh, federal holiday and uh, understand what you're doing. Okay. Your children are the key. That's right. All right. So, look, thank you very, very much. We'll see you next week, and do enjoy. God bless America. Take care. There you go, Bruce. Good night.